Hello, welcome to the next video of the section configuring vSpeed DRS. In this video, we are going to perform several tasks which is mentioned below. We will ensure that cluster exists and also validate that hosts are part of that cluster. After that, we will validate the shared storage and network requirement. And post that, we will enable the vSpeed DRS on cluster and we'll check the status of DRS. So jump to the lab and we'll see all those tasks in a lab environment. To configure vSpeed DRS, you need to log into vCenter server. Once you are logged into the vCenter server, validate that a cluster exists and also inside that you have minimum of two ESXi hosts available. Now click on cluster, go to configure, under the configure tab you have vSpeed DRS. Select that and click on edit. Click on turn on vSpeed DRS. Keep the settings default. We are keeping DRS automation on fully automated. You have other options as well. We have manual, partially automated and fully automated option. Now we are choosing for the fully automated. Other options we will leave it as it is. Click on OK. Now DRS is turned on. You can check the configuration on the summary page. Click on vSpeed DRS under the summary page. Here you can see the status of DRS. So DRS configuration has been done. Thank you. Thank you for connecting to lab. In next video, we are going to cover understanding of vSpeed update manager. Thank you.